Hi and welcome to the Ruby Tuesday. My name is Ruben and this is my review for Netflix's original series, Can You Hear Me? Season 2 or... Peux-tu m'entendre? Peux-tu m'entendre? Well, I think it's m'entendre. Peux-tu m'entendre? <laughs> This is one of those series that kind of sneaks under the radar for a lot of people. It's one that's not been talked about. When I originally re uh, reviewed the first season, um, I remember people saying, what is that? Uh, even when I, I when I do my week of this is what's coming up on the Ruby Tuesday for this week, it was the lowest thing that was people actually wanted to uh, watch because they didn't even know it, it existed or what it is. And that's a shame because this is very interesting. So I'm going to do a quick minute catch up with one of my earlier reviews and then we'll get stuck into season two. Can You Hear Me is a dramatic comedy that plunges us into the unusual daily life of Ada, Fabiola and Caroline, three longtime friends from the midst of poverty. What is this for? Mm. That's my question. Like, it's, it's kind of, it feels like someone's gone a little bit check off and kind of gone, I'm just going to do a slice of life. <laughs> there you go. Our son, uh, Ethan, loves slice of life anime. That's his <laughs> favorite genre, just where you get to experience a little bit. But it, yeah, it does. I would say it's it's about these three characters journeys and they do learn some stuff and they they become better, I guess, in themselves. But they still have a long, long way to go. Yeah. You know, don't we all? If, if you've <laughs> dealt with uh, rage issues or violence issues all your life, probably 12 sessions with a psychiatrist is not going to do it. No. Um, but maybe it will give you a stepping stone to bettering yourself. And I think that's kind of almost like the overarching storyline is like, mm. but can you survive if life gives you a bad hand, which it does seem like they've, they've gotten a really harsh hand. Can you overcome those obstacles? It's, it, it's definitely shines a light on that. If you're in poverty, if you're in broken relationships, if you're struggling of of all ends and then you're dealing with your own emotional issues so season two is 10 episodes and they're 22 minutes a piece so it's very easy to binge watch this it picks up off uh where ada is in jail she spent two years in jail and now we see her trying to put her life together you get a little bit of montage clips of seeing how difficult jail was we get to see uh how um, she really struggles with being in jail and they don't make it like uh, like it's easy to live there at all. They they show the kind of the realistic, the realisticness of what jail is like. And then when she has to come out of jail, you see how hard life is for her. You know, not having a job, not really having many skills, the repercussions of what happened. You know, she basically almost cut that guy's penis off. Um, all of that comes into play and that is episode one episode two and three of the other um characters the other main protagonists we have fabiola and caroline we see fabiola she's still singing she's loving singing in um there's this choir she's also looking after her niece or her cousin no her niece i believe and is basically taken over being the mother because obviously you saw what happened with the mother in the previous season and then we have caroline who is in an abusive relationship still with the dude that was beating on her in season one. And so after the initial three episodes of reintroducing us to these main characters, the story once again surrounds us with the life story of these three. And when that comes together, everything seems to kind of start fitting into place. That's what I really like about this series. It really doesn't skimp away, it doesn't shy away from showing us the nitty gritties of life, how hard is life, and you get to see it from each of these characters, our main protagonist characters, um, lives and it just shows you how hard life can be but what I like about this series particularly is where I felt the first season didn't quite get the balance and the pacing right so the first half of this series is quite dark it's quite hard to get into because of the darkness there's it doesn't really let up but once we hit that middle ground because they're friends again the humor comes back into play which is really needed because you it's not nice to watch something that just is just because it's continuously depressing but once they start getting into relationships once once they start hanging out with each other again we feel um, a little bit of levity and that is much needed and so the pacing seems to teeter off and it feels like oh yes now we're really getting into the nitty gritties the the meat of this story i would say that the acting once again is fantastic obviously our um one of our main protagonists is the actual creator of the show so she's uh this is a heartfelt project obviously she has her hands behind the camera in front of the camera in the script so she's all around 
uh, knows what she wants from the store. I really felt like they they fell into step doing uh, this series. I really felt like they found their footing in the season two particularly. It knows what it is and I feel like you as a viewer will feel that as well. Season one I, I loved the acting and the story was hard to watch but I didn't quite know what it wanted to do with itself. Season two it feels like it knows exactly what it is. Um, I feel like the script is that much more polished, it's that much tighter, um, the, the camera work as well, um, it's just the right amount of time and so the camera work always stays on what it needs to show, it never outstays its welcome. The length of the episodes as well is fantastic, whereas a lot of series will give you 40 minute episodes and have so much padding in it, these 22 minute episodes just give you what you need to move the story along and there is no padding, so it never feels like it outstays its welcome. So between the really great scripting and the fantastic acting, there is something else I want to talk about, which is the score. Um, for me, this is a character on its own because each episode starts uniquely. We have that introduction of the intro, which is fantastic, tells us a little bit of what's going on. But then each episode seems to have its own thematic theme. Um, it's different score and they pick a different time type of tempo for each music. The score never makes it feel like it's too different um, from each episode. It feels like it's still part of the series but it's defined individually which I thought was quite unique and I loved the score. I felt like ah at times I felt like yes this is working really well. I understand what they're doing with this music, this tempo bit here yeah, which I thought was fantastic. When it comes to camera work and camera techniques there wasn't anything spectacular to write home about to you know say hey this is the best cinematography work ever but it's also very good there are times when it, it will pan to another shot there are times when they use transitions from a particular a type of source into something that's quite clever so i liked all the editing techniques i like the cinematography i like the acting it's a solid second season for me it is the better second season and i have to say the end of the of the season two hit me in the feels i'm going to do a little bit of a spoiler uh, talk for at the end and we can talk about what what might happen in season three but I thoroughly I thoroughly I highly recommend this series I'm giving it giving it an A it's a great story easy to get through do put it on your watch list a lot more people should be watching this it is subtitled I would suggest watching it in its original language because for these actors you need to get the subtleties and the nuances of what they're trying to show what they're trying to portray with their emotions you will obviously get it through their physical uh, reactions of what's going on in the moment but you will need to get their reactions with their voices as well and I think you can only get that in its original time so let me know uh, what you thought have you heard of this are you going to check it out thanks so much for watching this but most of all until next time remember live long on tuesday